Hello everyone, in today's video I will go over my map progression atlas tree. Map progression is always something that I want to get done as soon as possible. I purposely left out other mechanics so you can take them as you please. I invested 4 points into these nodes. 2% chance for one monster in each of your maps to drop an additional connected map. A tip before we go to the big nodes is always to full clear your maps. Doing this greatly increases your chances of finding the map that you need. So the first big note that I took is Shaping the Skies. 3% chance on completing your maps to gain a free use of a special map crafting option. Maps found have 15% chance to be one tier higher. The second big note that I took is Shaping the Mountains. 10% chance on completing your maps to gain a free use of a random map crafting option. Maps found have 15% chance to be one tier higher. The third note that I took is Expert Reconnaissance. 60% increased Atlas scouting reports found in your maps. The fourth big note is Commissioned Officer. Gain one additional Kirak mission each day. Your maps have 3% chance to grant an additional Kirak mission on completion. Kirak missions are, in my opinion, a great option to increase your atlas progression speed. Kirak helps you out with regular maps that you sometimes need and even offers you unique maps as well, which will save you currency and time in the long run. Next big note that I took is overloaded circuits. League map crafting option also choose three random notable atlas passive skills associated with that league to treat as allocated 100% more cost of map crafting options. I took this note because it saves me some points, but it can be decent. It's not that bad. Also took these small notes, higher map tier chance, maps found have 5% chance to be one tier higher. And the next big note that I took is the seventh gate. All possible league map crafting options are available while six gateways are allocated. This is pretty much useless. I just took this note because I wanted to save some point. I traveled up here to shaping the world. Final map boss in each map has 5% chance to drop an additional connected map. Maps found have 10% chance to be one tier higher. And I also took these small notes here again. Maps found have 5% chance to be one tier higher. So let me quickly read out what you have. You have 28% chance for one monster in each of your maps to drop an additional connected map. 0.5% chance for map drops to be duplicated. Final map boss in each map has 5% chance to drop an additional connected map. Kirak related, your maps have 7% chance to grant an additional Kirak mission on completion. Gain one additional Kirak mission each day. Maps found have 100% chance to be one tier higher. 6% increased quantity of items found in your maps. 60% increased Atlas scouting reports found in your maps. 10% chance on completing your maps to gain a free use of a random map crafting option and 3% chance on completing your maps to gain a free use of a special map crafting option. See this atlas tree as a finger pointing you in a direction, not as a must have. Your goals may differ from mine, so adjust accordingly. I'm well aware that this atlas tree is a bit overkill, so if you want to invest into other league mechanics and just take a few notes that improve your atlas progression speed that makes total sense for example taking these notes up here is a bit overkill you can adjust accordingly to your needs i wish you guys good luck with your league start and thank you for watching the video until the end have a nice day bye